All right, guys, today we are going to be looking at both cordless eight and a quarter inch saws on the market. DeWalt's had theirs out for a while, and Milwaukee has had theirs out for about a year. So which one's better? Should you choose one or the other? And even show you how good these cordless saws really are. So first off, we're going to look at the DeWalt. Uh, like I said, this one's been out for a few years now. So they were the very first on the market to have a cordless table saw. Kind of surprised a lot of people I know as far as cordless table saw and stuff. But really, DeWalt's been making table saws for a while. And if you're familiar with any of the DeWalt's uh, table saws, contractor saws, you're going to be real familiar with this because it has all this, a lot of the same features and everything. Um, so we got ourselves a rack and pinion fence. Uh, I know that DeWalt patented a while ago, uh, and it goes all the way out to like 25 inches. And then with this fence too here, uh, you got support there uh, when it's that way, or you can have a smaller fence there like that. Um, so this thing clicks on, you can put it even wider there, you can turn it around, and uh, so it cuts on this side. So also the bevel goes all the way to like 47 in, uh, degrees. You see it goes up and down just like any table saw you have from them. Um, so here is the on and off switch. As you can see here, I actually modified this switch uh, because that's one of the few bad things about the table saw that I found. Uh, in order to turn it on before, you'd have to lift it up and push this button. But as you can see, if you let it down too quickly, it would just turn itself right off. So I drilled a hole right there, and that way you can just turn it off and on, just like that. Um, so we're gonna turn this thing kind of around, look at some of the features on this. So that's pretty standard now. You've got your push stick right there on the side where it's easy to grab when you're pushing stuff through. Um, and everything with this table saw, it's smaller and compact than your uh, t most of your 10 inch saws so it's easier to uh, grab and go and it has all the storage things you needed right on it you can have your guard there um, your wrenches are around back you have there uh, and your miter gauge and your little kickbacks are right there um, so also accepts your standard size two and a half inch uh, hose from any shop vac you're gonna put on it um, let's turn it around here again. Battery goes right inside there. Uh, the stand folds up nice, small. Uh, look at the Milwaukee. It's really similar setup. Um, they are super, super close to each other. This thing, same thing. It's got your rack and pinion fence. Pretty much same 24 and a half, 25 inches rip capacity. Same bevel uh, up and down. One thing uh, about the Milwaukee, the up and down, a lot faster. It's the gear ratio in that thing makes you be able to turn this from not to, uh, to all the way up, all the way down, quicker than uh, the DeWalt. This, the, the on and off is a little bit better. So you lift the clear plastic up, pull that up. It's not gonna go down until you push that whole thing down like that. So turn around, it's got the same kind of uh, thing going on. All your storage uh, is there for your guard, wrench, kickback. Same thing, it's got the two and a half inch uh, there. Oh, by the way, this little dust bag, this is nice. You can get this off Amazon if you don't have uh, something to hook up with. Little Bosch dust bag, like 15 bucks. I'll put a link for that in the description. And then, this side, you got your battery there. They both have handles there. So real, real similar at first glance. You almost think they're identical. A couple, couple little more little differences at them. Come in here real, uh, here, come in. All right, so uh, one of the things as far as the Milwaukee, changing the blade, you see right here, you only need one wrench. So the one, it comes with one wrench and it has a push button and here that locks this. The DeWalt, you need two wrenches to be able to uh, loosen the blade and change the blade. So it's good as far as 
locks in and the DeWalt does the same thing. Also, uh, let's talk about, so your guard or your riving knife here on the Milwaukee. It's got a real cool feature. Easy to be able to take this on and off. So most of the time, like on this DeWalt here, if you have to take this riving knife off or on, also with the guard goes on and off the same way. You gotta take the throat plate out. You gotta turn it, twist that. Mm -hmm. That's the same way. Push that in this way and then tighten it up. So the Milwaukee, they did a real cool thing as far as ease of use. Check this out. There's a lever right down here. You flip this lever and you pull that out. You want to put your guard or your riving knife back in, push it in, flip the lever down. Really, really smart how they did that. It's really cool little feature. Also, Milwaukee has one key so you can connect it to your phone and lock it out and track it if it gets uh, stolen. So Milwaukee has a couple more little uh, features than the DeWalt. A couple things, they were made theirs a couple years after, so I think they've kind of had a few little improvements. Now, the thing about the DeWalt though, some nice things about the DeWalt, the DeWalt seems a little bit better quality. Just like this fence, as far as connecting it, these just work every time solid easy to get on sometimes you pull this up it doesn't want to kind of that latch doesn't want to catch every time so you kind of got to push that in and kind of make sure that's good also this rack and pinion gearing right here this on the dewalt that's all metal all metal in there all the way around good quality the milwaukee we got a plastic gear here We've got some more plastic gearing in here as well. So I've been using this thing for uh, about a year. I haven't had any problems with it, but it does seem just a few little things as far as the quality is not as good. Um, the DeWalt, the quality seems a little bit better, but as far as performance wise, Milwaukee's got just a little bit more power than the DeWalt. Run times, they're about the same as if you have both equally sized batteries with them. I will notice, however, the DeWalt drops off after about one bar. When you've got two bars left on the battery, you, can, you know the power is kind of dropped off, even if you have half a battery. The Milwaukee's got consistent power all the way right up till the end of the battery life. You've got one bar on it right at the end of the battery. You can kind of start noticing a little bit less power. So if you could mix these two saws, some of the features that the, the Milwaukee has and a little bit of the, the quality uh, that the DeWalt has, you'd have a perfect cordless table saw. All right, so also uh, taking these things you know, to and from the job site, they both, as far as store real well and stuff and make transport real easy. Uh, you can see the fence on stores underneath. So you click it in upside down. Uh, the DeWalt's nice because you can kind of get it in there real easy and put it on and then and then be able to lock this down so it ain't going nowhere this handle on the side real comfortable kind of swivels so everything as far as the DeWalt was real well thought out the Milwaukee a little bit less thought out so this fence stores on this side but it's also kind of right in the way where the fence lock kind of is so you kind of have to get it exactly in there and kind of put it up in there um, but and handles a little maybe a little less comfortable but that's not that big of a deal also their stands so as you can see the stand Milwaukee did a real good job because the stand locks and so the stand is physically connected to the table saw. You can pick the table saw up and the stand's not gonna go anywhere. It's gonna be at one part. Also, kind of, it was a good idea, but it didn't work out. They put a little third foot on it to make it adjustable for uneven ground. But after not too long, mine fell off, got lost. 
so now I have to put a block of wood. Bad thing about this stand, it does not fold up very small, especially if you're putting in a spot in your van or your truck. It'd be nice for a little slimmer compared to the DeWalt. You can see how the DeWalt is a little bit slimmer and less bulky when folded up. And the DeWalt doesn't lock, so it will come off, but it does have this lip, so when you're pushing forward, as I've never had it come off, and uh, as far as pushing forward and pushing material through the DeWalt saw, it's never had anything like that, but if you go pick the DeWalt saw up, it will come off the stand. But they're also, the stands are a little bit lower uh, than maybe some other things, so sometimes you might wanna have a stand. They're good if you wanna buy it, but I've, some other people I know like to uh, make their own stand or put it on some other kind of table, so. All right, so both of these are actually excellent table saws, no matter which one you get. If you, I haven't used a corded table saw in over a year now because these have done everything I've needed to do. The limitations as far as it compared to a corded table saw, the only time you might still want to go with a corded table saw on the job site is if, you're con if you have a big cut list and you're constantly ripping a lot of stuff. Uh, there have been a couple times where I was doing that and ripping some super thick stuff, like ripping a three quarter inch by two inch piece down to one inches. If you're gonna do more than like 10 of those in a row, it's gonna drain the battery fast. And that's about the only time too, where both these saws, the battery will go into thermal overload on both of them. About one of the only corded tools that I would like to see an AC adapter with, but I have to look at Metabo HPT for that. So as far as which one to get, if you're on solely DeWalt platform, get the DeWalt. If you're on solely the Milwaukee platform, get the Milwaukee. Uh, I don't see a big advantage over one or the other just to go out and switch platforms or either to buy one and only have that on that platform. The Milwaukee does have a little bit more power and a few more features. The DeWalt's a little bit better quality. Um, the DeWalt's probably a little bit more expensive because it comes kitted with a smaller battery. You're really gonna wanna get the bigger battery, the 9.0, these bigger batteries with the DeWalt. Uh, and the, but the Milwaukee comes kitted with the big 12 volt battery um, and really a lot, most time you're going to want to run that battery on this unless you can run any other batteries but some of the 5 O's and stuff it's really for just in a pinch stuff so great table saws can't complain about uh, either one of them really too much at all I've done everything I've uh, wanted to do and they're yeah they've been great so uh, don't forget to like subscribe also follow me on instagram for uh any smaller reviews daily stuff and other uh projects and uh thanks for watching